And what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel of the Designated Players and MLS podcast. We are pushing at hopefully at this point, we're past 300, but we're pushing to the 300 mark right now as we record this. But man, we have just been missing MLS games, haven't we, Connor? Something like that. I only like it when I get to cheat and make you look bad. (laughs) It's on record, people. I'm going to clip it. He has admitted to cheating. He has admitted to cheating. If anybody knows what we're talking about, we'll go back and clip it. Not that one. Not that oh, one. Oh, not that one. The other one. Not gotcha. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we are we are super excited to get back into our fun game Fridays here. And today we've got a good one, one that we really enjoyed doing the first time and are now getting back to it. Uh, it is MLS Tenable. We're here picking a category and trying to name team. Blah, 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 blah. trying yeah, to name 10 things hard. from that same category you can tell we're rusty we're still getting the rust off right um so connor's gonna go three times i'm gonna go three times we're gonna tally up the number of points that we have by the end of it and we'll see who wins connor says he's got some easy ones some tough ones i've got a whole bunch here i've got to pick out who which ones i want to pick first i think i'm gonna go relatively easy to relatively hard to end it all right. I think mine's kind of structured that way as well. All right. I hope we don't overlap because I've got a whole big list of things that were just popping into my head. Well, maybe you uh, should stop making so many ahead of time and then we won't overlap. Well, maybe maybe if my school would give me the ability to do things instead of just sit there and do nothing, I would. All right. But here's how we're going to do this. As we always do, I've got my coin flip simulator right here. Heads. I'm going to share the screen so Connor can't think I'm cheating. Ready? Yeah. Called heads. Here it is. It's tails. Good. I didn't want to win anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to go second. I'm going to see how many I need by the end of it. So we'll start <laughs> off with you first. Are you ready? I was born ready. I'll give you the easiest one, I think, on my list first. That is... Can you name me 10 Argentinian players who have played for Atlanta United? <laughs> give me, give me Marcelino Moreno. Marcelino Moreno is tenable. Give me Franco Ibarra. Franco Ibarra, tenable. Give me LGP. LGP works. Do they have to have played a game for Atlanta? Like, what's the criteria here? I'm looking at the list, and everybody has played a game. So I got a guy in mind. I think he's Argentinian. I think he's played a game for us, too. I don't think he's played much, but is Rocco Rio Novos on your list? Rocco Rio Novos is on my list. Great pick. Four for four. No misses so far. Are you able to tell me how many like total players there are to choose from? 14. Oh, it's not a big list. No, but I figured it, it's right up your alley. Yeah, but I got to think about it. every Argentinian player that we've had. You're missing a couple right off the bat. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, okay. I just thought of two more. That helped. Thank you. Uh, give me South American player of the year, PT Martinez. That hits. I actually have that in parentheses next to his name, so that's good. Give me Barco. Barco works. Give me Tiago Almada. Thank you. That's kind of the one that stood out to me most. So I immediately jumped back to like the start of the franchise and I was just working my way forwards. So you got Um, seven, no strikes. Yes. All right. So if I go back to the beginning days, oh, wait, I think I got another one. Uh, Franco Escobar. That's good. All right. So early days, Atlanta. I know we had Garza, obviously not Argentinian. Guzan, no. LGP, Parky, Robinson. We got LGP in the midfield, Carmona. Oh, uh, give me Santiago Sosa. Sosa works. I need one more. Yep, you are on nine. One more, three strikes to go. In terms of attack, it's really just been Yosef, and I don't think any of the backups have really been Argentinian. Eric Lopez isn't. Chubo Torres isn't. Vasquez, obviously not. I feel like he would be a winger attacker. Tito Vialbo probably doesn't count. He's Paraguay now. Almiron, obviously not. I think I hit most of the big DPs. Oh, I got it. I got number 10. Yamil Asad. Yamil Asad is good. That is 10 for 10. 
I'll just give you the other ones here. Eric Remedy. Ah, yes. I knew there was another midfielder. Lisandro Lopez. That was such a short stint. I did forget about that one. For, for <laughs> Talk about backup minute. strikers. <laughs> Franco? Yeah. Oh, Alan Franco. Yeah. Alan yeah, Franco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. And then uh, I think it's Duh. Fernando Meza. Yes. That's another short one. Yep. You ready for your turn? Yeah, I am. I think I, I think am. mine. I think this first one's relatively like pretty good. Like it's a it's actually a callback to one of the episodes we did. So if you remember your ball knowledge, then you should be good here. Uh, we'll see. Can you name for me 10 players who have scored six or more penalties in one season? Have to have scored six penalties in the regular season. So you've got a list of 23 people who have done it. Well, the first one I'm going to go with is Pango Pazdok. Of course. Pazdok is one of the two people that is on here twice. <laughs> that's hilarious. And he uh, is the most. He had 11 PK scored in one season. That's so ridiculous. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Pamine Posse. Yep. Pamine Posse is there. I feel like I, it'd be it'd be wrong of me not to pick Yosef Martinez here after all the all the crap I gave him. So I'm going to go Yosef. Yosef is on the list. Got three. No strikes. <laughs> yeah, back this to is our great. episode. This Channel our like, episode. You got this. Come on. Dude, remember, I can't remember top that Top 10 episode. penalty scores. Life for me. Give the pen merchants. I'll tell that you this. So I'll, I'll give you a slight hint. That was so a long ago. A lot of the players on the list are more current players. Not necessarily like still in the league, but it's right. not like pre-2005 much. Who else do I know of to step up and tuck one away? Like, I got to think of like big goal scorers who padded stats with pens have to be i feel like a lot of these guys on the list we don't necessarily jump to as pen merchants right but i mean to your point obviously you're scoring this many penalties in a season you're gonna have a lot of goals i'm thinking like like i'm gonna go big big goals here so i'm thinking carlos vela Is that a guess yeah correct carlos vela i'm thinking so What's what's kind of sticking into my head is like David Villa during that MVP run that he had because he beat out BWP. And I feel like I remember telling that like I was pissed off because he did it, but he did it with like so many pens. So I'm going to go David Villa. That might be my first strike, though. David Villa is correct. Nice. Was it the 20s? Do you have the years? Was it 2016? Was I right? I can find the years while you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cool. Wells had a ton, a ton of goals. I mean, I feel like Wondolowski is probably a good shout. I'll go Chris Wondolowski. Wando's a great shout. He's on the list. What other goal scorer has got up? David Villa's most pens in a season was actually the 2015 year, his first year with the league. Gotcha. Oh, man, I feel like Tati Castellanos might be on there. That's not a guess, but it's a, it's a waffle. Just going to keep naming NYC players, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're all pen merchants, aren't they? It's the only way they can score on that 99 field. They may not be the only New York pen merchants. No, I know. The <laughs> other name that sticks out to me is... Uh... So I don't think BWP did it because I don't think he was on pens. I thought Sasha was on pens when we were around, when he was around. So I don't think either of them are on it. But Danny Royer stands out to me as somebody who had a whole bunch when we were when I was watching him play. There's one that is like, if you remembered our episode at all, it would be a very easy shout here. That's the problem. I don't remember the episode. And I, I feel like I can see this like number one person. Like we both agree. Like there's no, no questioning this guy. Like clear. Well, that was Pazdog. <laughs> but I like Jaime Moreno jumps out in my head. Like, I feel like I remember him being on that list. You got strikes. You can guess him. I know. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Tati. Tati Castellanos. Hati is your first strike. That's okay. Twelman feels like a pen merchant too. Just the, just the type of guy, you know, like you look at him like, yeah, you definitely like made your career off of being, being a pen merchant. I'll tell you, Tati just missed the list. He had five yeah. in 2022. He could have had six, but he missed a pen. No way. That's funny. Yeah, I'll go Jaime Moreno. I feel like all those goals he scored, he had to have a whole bunch of pens in there. Jaime is correct. Jaime was the one I was referring to. The dude has scored more penalties than everybody else. Like, yeah, that's I, I'm sitting there. I'm like, dude, I remember there was one guy like everyone's like, oh, like he, they had like 
20 or 25 and Jaime Moreno had like 50 or something stupid like that. Yeah, like a ridiculously high number of pens. Yeah. Um. So you are now at four, seven. five, six, seven, correct. Three more and you'll get it. Plenty of names still to choose from. I'm going to, yeah, give me, give me Danny Royer. I feel like Danny Royer was in that list. Danny Royer is your second strike. And he only got four at most. Now I'm going to like Galaxy Days, like early Galaxy Days. I'm thinking Kino. I'm thinking Bex. And I'm thinking, of course, Lando. I'm going to go Kino first. I'm going to go Robbie Keane. Robbie Keane is your third show. No! I'm sorry, buddy. One of those three on there? None of those three are on there. No kidding, really? Yeah. Damn. Keane was close. Keane got five one year. I was thinking Lando's San Jose days. That's what I was thinking. But Lando got five once for LA. San Jose, he didn't take pens. He only had like three pens during his time in San Jose. Beckham's only taken two pens in his entire career. <laughs> That's wild. And neither were with the Galaxy. I can run through the names that you did not get. I'd love to, yeah. You missed actually the joint second highest for goals in a season. If you remember, it's actually a recent season where we very much called him out as a pen merchant. A one Ola Kamara. Oh my God, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> he, he had like 18 goals and 10 of them were pens. Yeah. He had nine pens that season. Number six on the list, or joint six, Lucia Costa, Dom Dwyer, Pedro Morales, and Carlos Ruiz. Ooh. That's a weird list. Then the rest of them all joint six goals, six penalty goals scored. Ryan Gauld, Lewis Morgan, Hani Mukhtar, Zlatan, Diego Valeri. Oh, I missed Pedro Morales was on here twice, but uh, Federico Iguain, BWP. Uh, okay, apparently Federico was on here twice as well. Patrice Bernier and Amado Guevara. I'll tell you, I was real close to putting Zlatan for that same like year where he got like 29 or 31 and Vela had 34 or something like that. I was like, oh, Zlatan has to be up there too. Skipped him. BWP is a shock because BWP is not a good pen taker. Um, well, he was for one year at least. I was say it had to be. Yeah, it had to be the year without Sasha. Yeah, I would imagine. Uh, I can get you the year in a second. It was 2014. Yeah, Sasha goals. came in 2015. Yep, there you go. All right, so you got seven that round. I did. I actually think the next round you'll be able to get points back. The next one's not too bad. The last I, one's tough, though. I think this one's going to be a bit tougher than you first think. All right, well, I don't doubt it. <laughs> you like to give me the hard ones. Got the glasses on. He's ready to go. Got my notepad. I'm ready to notepad go. Ready to go. Can you name for me? 10 teams that have won the wooden spoon. So oh, baby. So I will give you the idea that if they won the spoon multiple times, they only count once. Yep. So there are 15 teams to choose from. All right. This is definitely, I am definitely not getting 10 points on this one. Let's start <laughs> off with our favorite wooden spooners of all time. FC Cincinnati. Check. Give me the most recent winners of the spoon. Toronto. Check both of those teams three time winners. I believe Dallas at least had one. I think back when they were the burn. Dallas is on here with one. Yep. I gotta try to think through recent spoon winners. San Jose was bad for a while. I don't know if they ever got bad enough that they'd win the spoon, but I do feel like they were really bad for points in time. So I'll guess San Jose. San Jose not only is on this list, they are joint highest with four of them. Damn. So, good job on your ball knowledge there. I actually wouldn't be terribly surprised if Red Bull has one back from the Metro Star days. It was definitely a lot easier to get the spoon back then when there's like eight teams in the league. Are we counting defunct teams or only current teams? All Any team that's ever won it. I think, didn't Chivas USA win it in their like first season? I remember us doing the story on the FIFA experiment. And I feel like they won it that year. But I'm thinking it through because. I'm So I know RSL came into the league and they were garbage. 
but there was somebody I think who was maybe worse than them. I, I feel like Chivas is one. I'm going to go Chivas. Chivas is tenable. Well done. Yes, let's go. So early days MLS, not many teams. DC and Galaxy were good. I don't think it would have been them. My mind's leading me to Colorado because I don't remember Colorado being very good at the start. I think New England was good enough. Same with Metro Stars. Dallas bounced around, but Dallas only had one, you said. So probably, and I feel like I remember that season and it was a little bit later on. So I'm leaning towards Colorado. And that's what I'll guess. I mean, considering how long they've been in the league, there could be a chance, a decent chance that they could have gotten one. Colorado is also a good shout. Well done. Okay. I got to remember like recent ones. I'm struggling to remember recent teams that have been doo-doo to say the least. I feel like DC has got to have one somewhere in there because they've just been so bad for so long. I know early days they were really good, but they've fallen off big time. So I am going to hedge that. I'm going to bet that based on DC's longevity that they have a wooden spoon season. DC not only has a wooden spoon season, they're the other team with four. Damn. I feel like there's some more recent teams. Like I, I'm trying to remember if Minnesota would have won it in their expansion year. They were bad. They were really bad. I can't remember if they were that bad, though, because that might have been around the time when San Jose was really bad, too. So they might have avoided a spoon. I can maybe see Houston having a spoon somewhere in there, too. There was a stretch for a while where they were pretty bad. Vancouver could be another shout. Vancouver has been pretty bad in the league, but I don't know if they've been worse. All right, let's guess. Let's guess the Red Bulls. I'm going to go see if they got one in their Metro Star days. Red Bull have two of them. One of them, the 1999 season, being the third worst season of all time. Love that. Who is the worst one. season of all time? Uh, ten... I don't know. I got to look. it has got you to expose an answer for me. <laughs> yeah, but I, I probably was wrong, to be honest with you. So. I could just keep guessing the teams that have been around forever. I feel like odds are they've gotten one at least. Like the Galaxy was bad at some points, I remember, but I don't know if they were ever worse. But I'm going to bet on the longevity here. And it's, it's worked out for me so far. So I'm going to throw out a guess of the New England Revolution. New England does have one, correct? All right. I need one more. I'm going to go now that I got, I got one more to get, three strikes to have. Let's go back to that Minnesota one. I'm going to guess Minnesota. I think maybe in their... I'm going to get... It would be like first season or bust, I think. Oh, wait. Scratch that. You know what? I'll stick with the Minnesota one. I actually don't think it's Minnesota, but I think I have a guess on who might be another one. Minnesota is your first strike. Okay. Orlando City. Early days Orlando was really bad. Early days Orlando City is strike two. They also do uh. You're down to was, make it, make San it or miss Jose. it, my friend. Make it or miss it. San Jose probably screwing me out of that one. So your little slip up before was leading me towards Tampa. I feel like because you were like Tam. So it makes me think Tampa might be one, but Tampa was also around for like what five seasons. So it's it's a risk. But there were also only like ten teams or twelve teams during that time. So. I wish I could remember that RSL one, man. Who came in with RSL? I swear, I know RSL was really bad, but there was somebody worse, I think. Either that or RSL was the worst one, and they somehow made somebody else not the worst. But I can't remember who the hell it is. RSL came in on their own. So maybe it was someone who came in the season before or something. Ah, you know what? I'll guess RSL. Why not? RSL is incorrect strike three. You finished with nine points. I knew it. I knew there, there was somebody else who beat them. It might have been Chivas, but I can't remember who it was. So what I'll tell you is I appreciate your commitment to not guessing my slip up because I was so focused. They just dropped a story on the U.S. Open Cup, so I was kind of reading through that as we were doing this. They're like, who's, who's the first one? Uh, Tampa Bay finished with 14 points in 2001, the worst season ever. Metro <laughs> Stars 15 and 99. But I, I knew it off the top of my head. But I started saying, I'm like, wait a second, we're in a game. I can't do that. 
Um, I should have taken it, but you know, let's one one that we're on our we're on a redemption arc. No more cheating. <laughs> one that I'm surprised you didn't get. Uh, three time wooden spoon winner, Chicago Fire. Yeah, it totally slipped over me. Yeah, uh, Columbus has one. Vancouver has one. Should have won Vancouver. Montreal has one, and the LA Galaxy have one. I was thinking about guessing Galaxy because they've been bad for a little bit. Probably should have got that one, but I went for the riskier shouts, and I don't regret it. Well, you let me know when you're ready. I am good to go. All right, your tenable number two. Can you name for me 10 players who have been under the designated player tag for more than five seasons for one team? And the way this is according to the designated players Wikipedia page. Mm -hmm. The way I'm going to define five seasons or more for one team is let's say the range is from 2014 to 2019. That counts. So that would be 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, six seasons. That's how I'll count it. But if it's 2014 to 2018, that doesn't count because, well, that that's five seasons. So more than five seasons for one team. Okay. And there are 16 players on this list. Oh, that's not as many as I thought there'd be. Oh, I don't like that. You'll be all right. I trust you on this. I'm going to start with Landon Donovan. I feel like that's a safe guess. It's not a safe guess. You're not a very kidding. safe guess. Are you kidding me? This list is going to be impossible. It's not impossible. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to fail this so bad. No, no, no. You got this. Lando so like, was here from – he was a DP from 2010 to 2014 for the Galaxy. Bastard. He just missed the cut. I feel like – see, I can't, I can't say I feel like it's a safe guess anymore because now I look stupid. <laughs> Diego Valeri. Diego Valeri is correct. And on that same breath, Ignacio Piatti. Ignacio Piatti is also correct. Thierry was only here for four years. I don't think he makes that list. I think he's one of those like, oh, he's only been here for five, not more than five. <laughs> and then I punch you in the face. It's got to be a cutoff somewhere. How's jo- what does Johnny Russell sound like? I'm thinking Johnny Russell. Johnny Russell sounds pretty good to me. 2019 to current day. When did LAFC join this league? Goodness me. <laughs> Yeah, Carlos Vela. Carlos Vela is correct. Sitting here thinking, man, was, were they 2019 or were they after 2019? So I guess that takes out anybody on St. Louis, anybody on Austin, anybody on Nashville, anybody on Miami. You don't say. <laughs> right. You're telling me St. Louis has an MVP for more than five seasons? Hey, you never know. <laughs> FCC hasn't had anybody that long. Chicago run through players like it's... I'm going to go back to the Galaxy and go Robbie Keane. Robbie's correct. Good. Uh, four. Sorry, five. When did David Beckham retire? Because the rule was literally made for David Beckham. But I thought he was only here for like three years. So I'm going to skip out on that. You're missing some easy ones. I feel that, I'm sure. I haven't even touched a team that I thought you would have jumped to. I can't even think of teams that I haven't even jumped to. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think Wanda was ever a designated player. So now I'm trying. I'm going to try and think of like people who just recently retired. Maybe. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to Red Bull. I'm gonna say BWP because I. I feel like there was something wrong with that. Like he didn't. Act, like he. He didn't get the the tag when he deserved it. And he didn't stay long enough. Just tell me I got a strike. You sure you want to go with BWP? Yeah. It's not BWP. He was really close, though. Really I know. I, he was another one of those, like, picked it up, and then they took him down in, like, the last year, I know. I'll give you some help here. No. I'll tell you, there's three from one team. Think about good teams. If they've been here for a long time, they're probably a good DP. So DC has been here forever, and they've got a long list of DPs. But who? Oh, who? Nico Ladero? Nico Ladero is correct. I'm staying too much on the wet, on the East Coast. Who else was in that group? When did Rui Diaz sign? Was Rui Diaz in at? Yeah, because he was in before the 2018 World Cup. I'll go Rui Diaz. Rui Diaz is correct. Who else is in the Seattle pipeline? Oh my God. Back to seven again. This is where I faltered the last time. Can I give another hint? No, I'm going to go Juan Pablo on hell as my do or die player. 
You bet on another Red Bull player? Yes. Well, you bet wrong again. <laughs> he seven. only was four. God, you should have made the cutoff at four then. This is your... F- <laughs> You're going to kick yourself for some of these. I'm sure. I'm like, because the thing is, I think there were... Like, you said there were 16. I was like, all right, great. That's not a lot. And then I started thinking, I'm like, well, this person could have been right on the... And then you start <laughs> second-guessing yourself. It's your fault. All right, I will give you the team. See if you can figure it out. Atlanta. Yosef? Yosef. Really? Yep. I thought he was gone by that point. 2017 to 2022. Oh, wow. He was all the way up through then when he even wasn't playing. that. So what I thought is after he got hurt and they were like looking to sign him to a new contract, I thought they brought him down. I don't think they ever brought him down. I think he left. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Uh, Columbus. This might actually be the longest. I think he's the joint longest tenured DP. Was it Pipa? Sorry, who? Pipa Higuain? Yes, yeah. it was. Number four. Sorry, not uh, the numbers don't matter. Uh, LA Galaxy. Was it Beckham? It's Bex, yeah. <laughs> New England. Arliss? Yeah. Really? Yeah. See, I don't know qualifies. when they joined the league. That's the problem. Is like I don't remember <laughs> when they came in. Everybody to me joined in 2021. Like I, the, <laughs> everything before 2020 never happened. <laughs> If if you um, were here before the pod started, you don't exist. <laughs> Portland. I got Valeria. Was Blanco in there too? Yep. Really? Yep. Blanco was here for a while as a DP. You're going to kick yourself for this one. San Jose. Was it Wando? It was Wando, yeah. Six years or seven years, I think, technically. I don't, I didn't know they made him a DP. Like, I couldn't. Every time, San Jose, when Wando was there, were just. They were they were Dallas from when we started the pod, right? Like you couldn't <laughs> tell me that San Jose existed except for like seven times they played Goonie Ball. <laughs> uh, Seattle. There was one more on Seattle. I don't know Seattle. Clint Dempsey. I didn't think he was here for five years. That name crossed my mind. 2013, 2018. He's really here for five years. Goodness. Yeah. And there were two on Toronto to wrap things up. Josie and Michael. Yep. Josie and Michael, shall we jump into the last one? Yes, make a hard we one. Shall. You should make it hard because you got a lot of points to make up. No, you know, I, don't even, I don't even care about winning. Okay, I just want to have a good time. My yeah, buddy. yeah, yeah. Me sure, and my buddy sure. having a good time, you know. Yeah, that's what it is. But here we go. I'll give you this. Oh, I don't know which. I'm going to save that one for a little bit later in the in the season. But I'm going to give you this. one. Can you name for me 10 players out of a possible 27 who were defenders with 15 plus goals in their career? This is maybe the tougher one on the list of all of them. Yeah, considering I don't even know where to start with this. Yeah, (laughs) I would say so. Defenders with 15 plus goals in their career? Yep. That's going to be so hard. Good luck. I don't even know if I can get one. You can. I'm trying to think if there's like defenders that were on penalty duties, but I feel like this list is going to consist of a ton of people like that played prior to 2005 and I'm not going to have any clue. I mean, I'm sure there's big names in there because for a defender to have 15 plus goals, they probably played in the league for a long time. Let's just think long serving defenders because that's the best route I can go. I can't even think like... I mean, I could try fullbacks, but I feel like it's going to be a lot of center backs. For the sake of him having played so many games in the league, let's guess Chad Marshall. One for one, baby. Chad Marshall hits. I bet I got one on the board. I bet there are a couple fullbacks in there. I'm going to guess, and I think this one might be a little risky, Demarcus Beasley. Demarcus Beasley also hits two for two. Look at you. You didn't know where he is. Listen, we're only two in. I'm already running low on my list. I will guess on the fullback route. I don't think he's a big goal scorer, but the dude just played here forever. Let's go for Graham Zusi. Graham Zusi, three for three. Look at this kid complaining. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Listen, I'm only three in. Let's slow our roll. All right. I feel like I'm ready for my first strike here. (laughs) Actually, no, not ready for my first strike yet. 
<laughs> okay. Does someone like Ryan Hollingshead count as a defender? I will go. I will tell you that I went on transfer market, mm-hmm. and whatever transfer market had listed as a defender, I took. So I won't give away if if a certain player counts. Okay. I mean, but I I'll think, let you make that inference. I think they did. I think they do have him as a defender. So I will guess our Lord and Savior Ryan Hollingshead. Our good friend Adam Tamburillo is smiling from somewhere. Ryan Hollingshead, four for four. Gonna go for another longevity pick. I got two in mind for longevity picks. My guess is at best one of them maybe has it, but I don't think both will. My first is gonna be Matt Beasler. Matt Beasler is strike one. Let's risk. Do I want to risk strike two already? Do we know? Is this considered all comps? I do not have that information. Lovely. Just want to guess Omar Gonzalez for the memes. Uh, all right. Let's go for the other long serving center back. Let's go for Matt Hedges. Matt Hedges hits. It's five with a strike. Not so bad, friend. Not so bad. It's gone better than I expected it to. But I there am... are still there are still some good ones on there that I think you can get. Like there are the reason I kept this one in is because there are at least fifteen that I think are are serviceable in terms okay. of this. okay. I'm almost a little tempted to go Walker Zimmerman because he's he's very good in the air. And I think he's been here long enough. I mean, if you think about his career, he's been around the block. He had seasons in Dallas, good seasons in LAFC. Now he's got a few in Nashville. Why not? Let's throw out a good Walker Zimmerman, right? Walker Zimmerman, man who robs Jay Moore of every Defender of the Year title, is on here. I feel like I'm still missing fullbacks, but I'm blanking on thinking of other ones. And I know I shouldn't be because there's probably plenty but I am blanking on other fullbacks. I just had someone in mind too, and I forgot. Oh, I do remember now. I'm unsure though, if he would have it. I don't think of him as a goal scorer, but he's a center back that's been around for a long time. Between two names, I have the strikes. Let's go for a retro name here. Let's go for Eddie Pope. Eddie Pope. Strike two. All right. Do we go for the bike man himself to end it? I feel like that's not a bad one that we'd end on. Yeah, why not? Let's go for the bike man, Marcelo Balboa. Marcelo Balboa is strike three. And you are out with six points, finishing on 25. What I will tell you is that you have won the game because I can't get 25. I'm on 14. But let's run through let's run through some in alphabetical order. Everybody's okay. favorite talking head. I mean, usually when you say that you refer to Twelman, but he's not a defender. No, you know this one. Oh big, God. big no, beard I, and yeah. big opinions. Alexi Lalas. Lalas. Yeah. Atiba Harris from Dallas. Bobby Boswell, Atlanta born and raised. Not really. I know he played everywhere else. Bobby <laughs> Ryan, the late Bobby Ryan. Brad Evans. Uh, Carrie Talley, everybody's favorite. Drew Moore, Ezra Hendrickson, Greg Vanny, Ike Opara. How about Ike? Hymason Olave, uh, Manager Eno. Ah, oh, Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Justin Morrow, Kendall Waston, Matt Borcher, Omar Gonzalez, Don Muriel Corrales. Should have said it for the memes. Robbie Rogers. Everybody's household name, first name that you think of when this list happens. Steve Trichuk. <laughs> Tony Sane and Tyrone Marshall. Here's All right, let's see if say. I can at least close the gap here. Here's what I will say. My last one is very tough. So if you can get 10 on this last one, I'll give you the win. <laughs> awesome. Can you name for me? 10 players who transferred into MLS from the Air Divise. Ooh, I like that one. There are 34 players to choose from. 
I don't know if I'm getting any of these. I mean, I know I'm going to get at least one. I would hope you get at least one. I'll get two. Will I get two? Oh, wait. Oh, oh he's second guessing himself already. Already. I'll give Love you it. a hint. I'll give you a small hint. I would think down the Dutch line. Think down the Dutch yeah. line. It'll help you. I'm going to go start, of course, with Jordi Mihailovic this year. Yes. I'm going to go Michael DeLue in Chicago. Nice. That's a good one. That's correct. I remember him. From, I mean, you know what? I'm not going to pronounce names because I'm going to butcher every Dutch name. So I will just <laughs> say yes. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, for the memes, just because it comes, it, it brings one back, and I've already lost anyway. Uh, Van Anholt's brother, Kelly Van Anholt. That's correct. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> so here, the first name and the, the one that got me kind of not so sure. I was thinking Josie from AZ, but I can't remember if he went from AZ to Sunderland. And then when they did the swap, it was a Sunderland Josie for Defoe. And that's what I think it was. I'm going to stay away from Josie. Oh, um, the hat, David Jensen. <laughs> the hat is on the list. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Uh, and from there, I'll continue on the goalkeeper out and go Martin Pius. Correct. I'm trying to think if there were any this year, like other than Jordy, because I feel like there were. No, actually, there weren't. They were all like the Norwegian League. So now I'm going to go back and, and rack my brain on. I can tell you this is definitely doable. I say I feel like it is like I'm confident in my my knowledge here. So, so I'm like, I'm thinking center. Oh, I'm thinking we're thinking Dutch, right? I'm thinking Johan Kappelhoff, but I don't remember where he came from. Also, not everybody on the list is Dutch. I'm sure it's no, obvious, no, I but... know. But that's kind of that's the way I'm thinking, because what other Dutch league transfers this is a great, great list. Like my my other thought, the way I'm thinking about this is to go back to like MLS 1.0 year one. And who did we pull from like the European leagues to go and, and distribute out? But I can't think of you can that. remember someone from that early. Maybe. I'll go Kapelhoff just because the only Dutch guy I can think of right now. Kapelhoff's correct. I remember that Chicago for one like year went big on the on the Dutch transfers. And I'm just trying to think, okay, hold on a second. Did David Akam come back from the Dutch League? Or did he end his career at the Dutch League? Did he even get to the Dutch League? Am I, am I confusing it with like the Norwegian League or something? I got strikes to burn. Give me David Akam on the way back. David Akam never ended up in the Dutch League. It was it the Swedish League and Finnish League. Swedish League. Ah, damn. Oddly enough, he finished in the Finnish League. <laughs> nice. Doctor, you got six already with no strikes. Has me sweating a little bit. Not going to lie. Oh, wait a second. Who was that guy? Uh... Vanderwater in Orlando. That's correct. Yeah. Sylvester Vanderwater. Came from like ADO Den Hog or something like that. Came from Heracles. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> that, that difference <laughs> matters. Who was the... Uh... Killing these... I'm assuming... Uh, well, you made this. The guy... Red Bull just signed a guy. Uh, Gengar. But I think he was from like the Danish League or something. Let's see. Other wide players who was the Dutch striker I feel like there was a Dutch striker in here that did relatively well now Buxa came from the and he's first of all he's Polish but he came from the French league I think so I'm thinking center backs again I'm trying to think like some of the oh did so I'm thinking like Jansen in Orlando thinking that he might be a a shout. Any older Eredivisie guys that, like, I don't think there's anybody else from Eredivisie that I can think of. Now I'm going to go, like, Red Bull. Red Bull really didn't do much in the way of... Yeah, those. I can't pick... I can't pick a nation that Red Bull picks up from a lot. Like, Austria and Germany are off the table. <laughs> I can't have that. So, like, Adam Lundqvist is also somebody who popped into my head, but I think he came from a Swedish league. 
All right, this might make me sound either really stupid or really, really smart. Chicago Fire designated player Shergil McDonald. Did he come from the Eredivisie and then absolutely poop the bed? Is that your guess? That is my guess. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm, I mean, I'm assuming maybe I got the first name wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was McDonald. The from look up look, early from... early Chicago designated player. I won't look it up so not to cheat, but just let me know where he came from so I'm not like losing my mind. I can tell you he is Dutch, so it's a good guess. That's why that's why my head went there. But unfortunately for you, he only ended his career in the Dutch league. He actually started in Belgium. Okay. But did I get the name right? Yeah. Okay, good. I just want to make sure because I his Small name victories. popped out on like worst designated players of all time list. So all right, down to one strike. You Seven seems black. to be my limit here. Three to go. I'm not giving you any more hints because I'm concerned you're going to get there. I don't think I am. Seven seems to be my limit, dude. You got way more than I expected you to get. So hats off to you on that one. I'll just to end this and put me out of my misery. <laughs> I'll go Robin Jansen. I, I think he came from like the second division in England. but Jansen's also like Swedish or something. <laughs> yeah, he's Swedish, but I, I thought he would have come from that. But I'm pretty sure he came from, like, not there. I'll tell you it wasn't right, but I will look up where he came from. I'll look it up. You tell me who else I missed. I want to see if I'm going to hate myself. You're probably going to be upset with yourself on a couple of them. Um, One that is a player you know but probably wouldn't have expected is Albert Rusnak. Interesting. Yeah, didn't expect that one. Yeah. David Teixeira. Danny Hosen. Good one. Good one. I was worried when you were talking about Dutch strikers that that's who you were trying to think of. That's a, you know you what's know, funny is that's exactly who I was thinking of. I couldn't put a name on it, though. <laughs> I, this name is going to be butchered like hell. Uh, just know Colorado. Uh, Valeri Kazashvili. <laughs> Kazashvili. Oh, Vaco? Is that how you pronounce it? The, the San Jose Georgian guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just called him Vaco. I don't know what his last That's name is. That's way easier. I'm just going to call him Vaco too then. Oh, uh, yeah. does that mean that Kashia came from there too? Yep. Kashia was down the list a little bit more. Columbus Crew Dutch goalkeeper ring a bell? Eloy Room. That's right. Eloy Room. Yep. Uh, one of your favorite center backs in the league, Shane O'Neill. No way. Yeah. Came over from Excelsior. That's crazy. That's crazy. Another goalkeeper for, I think it was Miami. Nick Marsman. Marsman? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Another one that you might kick yourself for a little bit here. Seattle right back, Kelvin I'll, I'll Leardom. I thought about Leardom, but I didn't know how he got here. Like I couldn't, I couldn't think of the path here. I didn't know. I thought he was like a, uh, uh, draft. Honestly, I thought it was like a draft pick or something. Like, couldn't remember how he got here. <laughs> or like, I, he's from. He's got like Suriname nationality. So I thought he might have come up through like the Central American leagues or something, and then they popped him, like gotcha. uh, one of the Hassam and Dom like Rainbow FC signings. You know what I mean? Like one of those like super random clubs that seems just produce MLS talent all the time. <laughs> um. Next one, one of our favorite goalkeepers of all time. He he's one of our favorites because of the PSXG plus minus stat from Wooden Spoon FCC. Vermeer? Kenneth yeah, Vermeer, yeah. Damn, that's that's a good one too. I forgot about that one. It's funny because you were talking about how we were like, oh, you know, we're not really pulling guys from Ajax and Feyenoord. He came over from Feyenoord. That's right. Yeah, you're right. There are a couple of Ajax and Feyenoord guys on here. Uh, now I'll, I'll rattle them off a lot quicker here because a lot of these names probably aren't super well known from here. There's there's still a couple, but um, Ronald Waterus, Michael Van- Vanderwerf. Oh, that's the other guy I was thinking of, the Cincinnati center back. <laughs> Victor Sikora, Ernie okay. Stewart, 
Ernie Stewart. That's right. That's one of the that's one of the guys I was trying to remember. Like they pulled it from <laughs> to, to yeah. Blazing Kufo. Dave Vandenberg. Oh, Marco Red Papa. Bull. Marco Papa, really? Yeah. Damn. Leslie Fellinja. Nope. Seem de Young. Yep, that's a good one. That one I missed. That's one of the IX guys, I think. Yep. One yeah. of two. Uh John O'Brien. Danny Coovermans. Coovermans is a good shout. Will Johnson. Really? <laughs> that's a yeah. name. Roland Alberg. Oh, that's a good one too. Yep. Timu Tainio. Timu Tainio, yeah. I forgot about him too. He was a he was a Red Bull. Back in yep. the Marquez and uh, Henri days. Came over from Ajax. He was the other guy. Yep. Uh, ben Iroa. Edwin Gorter or Gorter. Gorter. Nope. And, oh, God. Seemed like the hardest name for last. <laughs> Dionish, Dionys, Dionysius Sebway. <laughs> you could That's pronounce be a that 100% signing. right. I got no idea who you're talking about. That's got to be a um, Dallas signing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, you know, let's just let's go ahead and call it there. That is a a, a win for you to start off 2024. It's a new year, new Connor. Well let's done. Go. Uh, leave in the comments below if you were able to get any of the guys that we didn't get, um, because every board except one has some. So. Uh, Thanks so much for listening and playing along. We hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time on the next episode of Fun Game Friday for the Designated Players and MLS Podcast. See ya.